That newly released video provides more perspective about what happened here six months ago. Now, the family of the man who was shot and killed is calling for a new independent investigation. A chaotic and intense scene in February, captured in part by police cameras, revealing new details about the shooting death of 41-year-old Justin Root by police. The shooting itself is not shown. The video turns dark, but you can hear multiple gunshots. A total of 31 shots fired by six law enforcement officers, according to a report by the Norfolk District Attorney. The shooting ended an incident that began at Brigham and Women's Hospital, where Boston police were notified about a man with a gun. Investigators say Root showed what appeared to be a weapon, prompting an officer to shoot. An injured Root takes off, launching a chase. New traffic camera video shows his car slamming into several vehicles on Route 9 in Brookline, then coming to a stop. He is seen limping out to a shopping plaza where he falls to the ground, then back up. A woman in the background running toward him to help. But that's when police descend on the scene and the shooting occurs. So many people loved him. Um, yes, he struggled with mental illness, but that wasn't him. Just on Root's sister has filed a wrongful death lawsuit. He had no weapon out. He didn't bandish anything. He was not a threat. Justin, my family, and the public deserve to have an independent investigation. We have now, the Norfolk DA found that the shooting was justified, saying that the officers reported seeing Root reach for what appeared to be a gun in his coat. We later learned that was a BB pistol. Meanwhile, Boston police still in the midst of conducting its own investigation into what happened. Live in Brookline, Sarah Conji, WCVB News Center 5.